Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to see steps to use JDBC Sampler. So these are the five steps which we are going to perform. First, we need to set up a database. So I'm taking it as a prerequisite, like you must have any database and it could be on your machine or could be on any remote machine. We need database name, username, password, port number and the IP of that machine. So these are the details that we need as a prerequisite. Then we need to download the database specific jar and place into the lib folder of JMeter. So that's the second step. And then once these two steps are done, then we can go for JDBC sampler. We can set up a JDBC sampler. So first of all, I have database. I'm going to show you my database. So I have MySQL uh, as a database. I have MySQL database on my machine. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to the MySQL query browser and the database is installed on my local machine. The port number is 3306. That's my username, password and the database name. I'm clicking on OK. So here inside this test database, we have a testing table. So I'm just clicking on this and executing. So these are the result. These are the data which is stored in this testing table. So I'm going to use this MySQL database for the process. Now, as a second step, we should download a specific jar, database specific jar file and place into the lib folder. For that, I'm moving to the Google download Java MySQL jar file. Here we are getting option download MySQL connector Java jar. So I click on this and just and just scroll down. Here we are getting this zip file. So just click on this, a zip file will be downloaded. Once it is download, we need to unzip it. So I'm going to show you. It was downloaded in my download folder. So I just unzip that. I'm moving to inside it. And that's my connection jar file. So we need to copy this and place it to location where your JMeter is placed. So in my system, JMeter is placed on this location uh, inside JMeter folder. We need to go to the lib folder and just place that jar file. I already placed this jar. I'm replacing it. So now I have a new jar file. Once you place this jar file, it's mandatory to restart the JMeter. If we try to use this jar file in the currently open JMeter, it's not going to work. So we need to restart the JMeter. So I'm just closing it and I'll restart it again. So I'm moving to my location where JMeter is placed. I'm restarting it. So here two steps are done. One is set up database. I already have the database. That's a prerequisite. And I have placed the specific jar file to the lib folder. So now we, I'm moving to the JDBC config manager setup. I'm moving to JMeter and here first I'm going to create a thread group. I'm just giving the name JDBC performance testing. And now I'm here. I'm going to the config element. We have a JDBC connection configuration. So I'm setting the JDBC connection configuration over here. Few things which are very important over here. First of all, we need to give connection name. We can give any name to the connection, but we need to remember this name because we are going to use this name while using JDBC sampler. So I'm just giving the name uh, test connection. We have many other details like how many maximum connections you want to create with the database, uh, maximum time it should wait for connecting with the database. So this kind of many details are there. As of now, we are not going to detail 
of all these options i'm just adding all the mandatory options here we have database connection configuration so here we need to enter rest of the details database url jdbc driver class username password so these are the four details that we need to set up these two details database url and jdbc driver class that is completely dependent on the type of database we are using means uh, it will be different for oracle different for the mysql different for sql server so it is difficult to remember all these so we can go to the google and just find jdbc mysql connection string what we just need to find out that and here when we got this connection string here we got the connection string so only few things we needed one is this driver class so just copy this for the mysql it's com.mysql.jdbc.driver and for oracle we have the different class for sql server we have a different class so we need to pick a specific to the database and place it over jdbc driver class next option is database url so here is my database url just copy it and place it over here database url again that is related to the database specific if we go for the other other database we have to find out for the specific database now we need to tell where is our database so in my case database is on the local host means on my machine if you have database on any different machine so you can put the ip over here then after the colon we need to write port on which database is running so i have already shown you like i start the query browser again because these details we can find out from the query browser so here database is on my local machine and the port was 3306 and then username password and database name so it's a 3306 my database name is test username i'm entering and the password so all the configuration that we need to do i have already done that now we, we are ready to use jdbc sampler so the third step is done where we are setting jdbc connection configuration now i'm going to add and configure jdbc sampler so before moving to the jdbc sampler we should have the name of this database connection so my database connection name is test connection i just copy this i'm moving to my sampler and here we have a jdbc request so in the jdbc request we need to pass the variable name means connection name i'm just passing it now what kind of query you want to make so it's a select query update callable commit rollback autocomplete so it could be many queries over there i'm just writing a query for the select what query you want to write so here we can write the query uh, if we talk about my database so i'm going to the query browser and i'll use the same query which you are writing over there so i'm just writing like select star from testing testing is my table name i'm just executing it we are getting some data i can copy this query and moving to my jmeter here i'm pasting the query and to view the result i'm adding a listener so that is my view result pre-listener everything is done i'm just executing it and i'm saving with the name jdbc and here on the result so it is able to put jdbc request click on this that's the request i'm sending and in response we are getting this data and we can validate this is the same data which we are getting on the query browser so as of now we are hitting with the 
uh, one user only if you want to increase the user you can go it over here i want to execute i want to hit my data with the five parallel request i'm just clearing it running it so five requests are going to the server and if you want to add more listeners so i'm adding a listener like aggregate graph and i'm clearing it uh, i just want to check how fast my database is giving the result so i'm just running it five requests are going to the server it is taking average 22 milliseconds to response so it's a very good response we are getting we can add few assertions we have already seen assertions so i want to validate in response we should get uh, amit as a name so i can write it over there like i'm going to the jdbc request right click add assertion and i want to check response assertion i want to make response assertion and here it should contain amit i'm just clearing the previous result running it again so you can see all the requests are passed because we are getting amit in the response i'm going to change my query so here select star from testing where id is equal to two just running it this time we are getting only ajay so i'm just copying it and going to the jmeter this one i'm clearing previous result running it again so here all the requests are getting failed why because we are expecting amit and the response we are not getting this response from the database so here we have seen how we can set up jdbc sampler and all the steps we have already seen like these are the steps that we have to perform for working with the jdbc sampler and this jdbc sampler as we know it is used for validating or i'll say validating the performance of the database so that's all we have for this jdbc sampler session thanks for watching this video